I went into law school knowing I wanted to end up in public interest. Uh, prior to deciding to go to law school, I studied sociology and psychology in my undergraduate career, and I was kind of balancing or, or debating between two different options, going on into a career um, as an academic or going to law school. And I had had the personal experience while growing up of seeing a family member who had gone through um, being diagnosed with and then suffering a pretty rapid decline in their health because of a, a disabling condition. And um, I'd seen sort of firsthand how difficult it was for them to go through the legal process of getting uh, benefits that they needed financially because they couldn't work because of their disability. And we were fortunate that we could afford representation and ultimately representation was needed in order for that person to get those benefits. Um, but I, you know, I knew that that wouldn't be the case for everyone. Um, and so I ultimately decided you know, what I wanted to do wasn't necessarily to become an academic and study these issues, um, the inequalities and injustices that, that are happening um, in our society, but I wanted to go to law school, become a practicing lawyer, and be able to sort of do something to rectify those things. As a public interest lawyer, I work um, in a nonprofit that provides wraparound services to homeless and low-income veterans in the Bay Area. And in the legal unit, we represent clients who are, like I said, homeless and low-income uh, who need access to health care or disability compensation through the VA and for whatever reason are struggling to um, get access to those benefits that they're entitled to due to their service. And then for those veterans who may not even have baseline eligibility to apply for those services due to their discharge status, we represent them in discharge upgrades before the Department of Defense so they can gain veteran status and be able to apply for those benefits um, that are you know, really important and stabilizing for folks who are homeless or low income. I would say that the best thing that I did for my future self as a law student was to take advantage of all of the experiential learning opportunities. I cannot recommend the clinics highly enough. Uh, I was in the civil justice clinic as well as the health justice clinic and found those experiences to be some of the most helpful um, for starting my career as a practicing lawyer. Uh, and, but not just the clinics, there's also the student-led like pro bono projects uh, that can and did really help me learn the practical lawyering skills that like allowed me to hit the ground running when I started my first career as a baby lawyer uh, graduating school. So. Yeah, I also really relied heavily on the public interest advising office and staff um, to help me navigate the different employment opportunities that I had available to me, um, how I should spend my summers, what clinics I should take, what pro bono projects I should participate in. And then ultimately, too, in the process of applying for a postgraduate fellowship position um, and just navigating all those career life decisions, like the mentorship that I received from um, the Public Interest Advising Office was like critical. Public interest encompasses such a wide range of different practice areas and types of lawyering. Uh, so I really relied heavily on the Office of Public Interest uh, to and the guidance that I got from my career counselor uh, to help me make decisions as a law student that would allow me to experience different practice areas and different types of work and really hone in on what job was going to be right for me post-graduation. So I learn about myself and also about these other options that were out there for me. Um, and then ultimately in the process of looking for a postgraduate position as well, the office really guided me in helping me find opportunities to not only to apply for, but also helping navigate through the application process, which for uh, a lot of public interest jobs and postgraduate fellowships and other positions can be pretty like lengthy um, and involve a lot of different steps. I was very heavily leaning on uh, the Office of Public Interest in terms of you know, what to expect. Different, were there alumni that I could get connected with who had you know, applied for a Scadden Fellowship before, an Equal Justice Works Fellowship? Um, and there were, and I did, uh, because of those you know, folks in the Office of Public Interest who were behind me and willing to help um, and put me in touch with the Duke like network 
which was full of attorneys um, and alumni who were also willing to help. It made a huge difference.